It's because of music that we go out and try to find these pieces of plastic. Since I wasn't in that drug and alcohol world, records became my drug. I've built a collection of 23,000 records. Why do I collect records? You should ask my shrink. I collected records because it gave me an identity. Why does anyone do anything completely obsessive? You become friends with people you probably would have nothing in common with. <laughs> that's the deepness of vinyl culture. The day that I went to get my eyeball taken out, that's when I got the storefront. Not for the sake of the utility of the record, but for the possession of the record. Whatever that moment was is when I realized, oh, okay, I'm, I'm a record collector now. I ran out of space. I thought, hey, I could put my bed on top of records. There's really never a time where it's like, okay, we have enough records. There are no CDs on the wall. That's a statement. It's like, how do you collect MP3s? They don't exist. My favorite one is, oh, those are coming back. Well, for me, they never went away. I've been haunting record stores for 20, 25 years. Once the addict, and now he's the dealer. So it's a wormhole that you can never really get out of. Finding 30,000 interesting records for Coachella is my biggest challenge. The point of these trips is to really just find the best records around the U.S. for Coachella. Seen collection that we haven't offered to the general public. Brad Records. That's what we want at Coachella. We're being filmed having a nerd conversation. The one thing we all have in common is our passion for music, which makes us collect. Everything is music. Music brings people together. 